Copa's website speaks on the 12 most obvious reasons why Craig Wright is not Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, you may recall that Craig Wright is the false pretender, the legal and patent troll who tried to usurp Bitcoin as his own, claiming to be Satoshi Nakamoto. COPA is the nonprofit organization created to defeat Craig Wright and anyone else like him. COPA's big three members are Block, led by Jack Dorsey, MicroStrategy, led by Michael Saylor, and of course, Coinbase, led by Brian Armstrong. All right, so let's read this directly from COPA's website. The title is a document, and I'll, I'll share the link um, in the description below so you can go like look at it for yourself. But the title of the document is 12 Reasons Why Craig Wright Is Not Satoshi Nakamoto, and is dated March 13th, 2024. And basically, they extracted these 12 reasons um, out of evidence that was brought forth uh, and irrefuted, um, or I should say irrefutable, irrefutable evidence that was brought forth in the trial. All right, number seven, Patch Tuesday. The real Satoshi would know that the Bitcoin system did not crash as a result of patches issued by Microsoft on Patch Tuesday in January 2009. Dr. Wright's series of false stories about Patch Tuesday provides further evidence that he is not Satoshi. Number eight, mining requirements. The real Satoshi would know that the early operation of the Bitcoin system didn't require more than 70 computers or cost $11,000 a month to run in electricity costs. Dr. Wright's account of his 2009 mining operations only reveals that he's not Satoshi and wasn't mining at that point. Again, I have no idea how his fiction even lasted this far, given all these obvious inconsistencies and things that he didn't know that he should have known. Number nine, Bitcoin transactions. The real Satoshi would know that, contrary to Dr. Wright's claims, Satoshi did not send Bitcoin to Zuko, Wilcox, or Hearn. In addition, the real Satoshi would be able to correctly name a person to whom they transferred Bitcoin, in addition to the few names known publicly, for example, Nick Bohm, whose name wasn't public. And if, as Dr. Wright claimed, Satoshi had sent Bitcoin to 100 people not already known, then the real Satoshi would have been able to name at least one of them. So you can't name any of the private. I'm sorry. So you can't name any of the owners of the private addresses that Satoshi obviously sent Bitcoin to. Um, yeah, you're probably not Satoshi dog. So there you have it more evidence that Craig Wright is not Satoshi Nakamoto. But like I said in my other video, I told you this years ago. Anyway, until next time, fam, holla.